All right, as humble as he is, Ashton Genty, I, I don't think anyone can call what he does the easy part. However, he is right to give props to the offensive line because everything he does, they at least get it started for him. And against Georgia Southern, that unit got out to its best start in years. Tonight, of course, they face a massive challenge against the team that might boast the best defensive line that they face all season. That group is the focus in this week's Roadmap to Victory. Bronco Roundup's Roadmap to Victory is sponsored by your Treasure Valley Ford stores. It felt so good. I mean, we've been preparing all year long. Like to actually get on the field after all these months of training and working together and growing these relationships, it felt so good to dominate their D-line. It all starts up front. In a day that saw 651 total yards of offense and seven total touchdowns, the offensive line set the Broncos up for success. The number that stands out, Boise State running back Ashton Genty averaged 5.1 yards before anyone on the defense was able to even make contact with him. Like, I don't really even see the holes while I'm blocking. I just see them, see the tailbacks running past. Just being able to have the first contact at five and a half yards or 5.1 yards was insane. And hidden behind a dominant run game was a clean pocket for the passing game, allowing zero sacks. Their work that they put in is uh, unheard of in ways. Those guys get after it continuously each and every day. Those guys take it into their own hands and it really comes down to them making the plays and their execution was awesome. It showed, I mean, they had a really good day to get together. The hot start, a much needed change of pace for a unit that typically has taken a few weeks to get rolling. And that's been extremely frustrating for everyone involved, you know, for the players, for the coaches, for Bronco Nation. So it was good just to, to get a win, however it got done, whether we threw the ball for a thousand yards, or we rushed the ball for a thousand yards, or we scored 10 points or 100 points. Like we just wanted as a team to get on the plane after and be like, hey, all that work, all those decks, all that conditioning in the snow, it's like worth it. But in game two, they face what might be their biggest challenge of the season. We climbed the, the, the mountain and we were at the top and what did we see? Like we saw our next challenge and we got a big, big challenge this next week and you can't enjoy the view too much from the mountaintop because that next challenge is coming quick in college football. There's no time to, to be feeling awesome and patting each other on the back. Like we gotta be, be on this next opponent. Getting back to work this week, I mean, I think we had one of our best Tuesday practices we've ever had. And just the, the level of play that we are at right now, early on in the week, our body are still banged up, we're still getting back at it. You know, it's just, it's insane. The Oregon Ducks have one of the best defensive lines money can buy. Headlined by NFL prospect Jordan Birch. They are really good defensive ends. Uh, one thing we're emphasizing is number one's ability to bull rush. He's really big, he's heavy, 295 and 6'6. He's going to be a component that we got to emphasize during the week. And our scout players this week have already emphasized it really well and given us good power rushes. While we shouldn't expect the gaudy stat lines we saw out of the rushing game in week one, the unit is ready to bring the juice and grind out whatever they can to help the Broncos win. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really, really fun, fun week because we're going to have to be super juiced with a four-yard run. You know, we're not going to get a lot of 10 and 15 and 20-yard you know, runs. Like They do a really good job of kind of eliminating all, those, all that space. So it'll, it'll be fun for our guys to see those guys respond and get excited when we get a five-yard run and a four-yard run and a fisher run and just keep the chains moving. Like That's going to be our, our goal for this week.